right, so we got the bottom all straightened out and getting it ready to start welding in right now. Um, I took and ran it over with the truck <laughs> and uh, it fixed that angle there and there, which is just about right now. Um, so I'm gonna start, I think, right here and welding this piece in. I got a nice bevel in here and I've got this cleaned off of the rust as best I can. And I'm gonna throw it up in a place and start tacking okay. it and see what it looks like. We've got her tacked in there. I had to put a clamp on this side and just suck it in tight right up through here. Um, but we just gotta start welding it in right now. When you get out to these ends, they flare out just a little bit and I think I'm gonna try to just pull them in, see how that works. But uh, the welds are working, just be able to push that weld in and fill that gap. And when I get this side all done, get it flipped around, I can get in there and weld it up a little more solid. The corners look like they're gonna line up pretty well once I push this down into place. So uh, okay, let me just start welding it out. The coot project's coming along. Um, you can see what I did here on the back is when I, I folded this over, I've done little cuts because I couldn't get that to heat all the way across to get a good even bend. But it's gonna be watertight by the time I get some rhino lining on there. Um, off just a little bit on this end and that end you can see what I've done here is I've just taken a little wedge piece and welded it in um, the middle right here I'm leaving that open because we're sticking we're gonna put a two inch receiver hitch and we're gonna beat that up inside there and uh, we're gonna have the two inch receiver hitch on the coot and then uh, I'm just gonna leave this tab on and we'll just weld that all up solid and then on the very back of the the back in here we're gonna weld you know I'll have to cut this down to make room for the axle I don't know how short it's gonna end up, end up being but somewhere in here and I'll weld a, a cap on that'll make that water tight um, I'm gonna set up and mark out the holes right here using this guy as my template and I'm, I'm gonna start drilling these holes out in here oops sorry off camera drilling these holes out in here and then cutting this out and get the other side cut out and then I can throw the axle in see how much room I've got for the two inch receiver hitch but uh, this side's almost about done I was uh, wondering how I was gonna get this to fit and, you know coots are real flimsy through here you can see that flimsiness so I've got a gap so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a two by four the width from here to here and go underneath of it and then wedge it in just kind of kind of twist it on an angle and that should force the edges out to, to my plate and I can weld those in solid um, rear's about done, getting really close, um, still where I'm at here, so we'll okay, keep plugging guys. away. After a couple hours of work, we've got a lot more progress on this thing. Basically got the rear end uh, pretty much buttoned up. I could probably flip it over now, except for the work I've got to do on the front section. Um, got the whole back end welded in, down tight, and ended up having to do little cuts along here. And uh, heating them up and then bending them over. And uh, got the receiver hitch just sitting in place there we, I don't know where to set that yet but we've got this side we've got a piece welded in here and then the four bolt holes for the axle and then this three inch center section I'm gonna get a three inch hole saw and from the inside um, so I can match it up perfectly I'll, I'll drill that three inch hole out and then I've still got to run my weld down here here and same thing on the other side but uh the back end turned out pretty well. I'm actually pretty happy with that. I don't think it's going to leak by the time we get it all finished up and uh, get it rhino lined. This side I still have to add the little piece here and uh, finish welding out along the bottom. But uh, that's probably going to do it for this week's video. Um, next week I am going to try to find the tubes for the axle. Um, probably try to finish up the front tube and hopefully in that video we'll get it flipped over back on the, on the right side up so stay tuned give us a thumbs up if you like this kind of thing and please subscribe we're going to be doing a video of this uh coot trying for every friday last friday i didn't make one um, without fishing so we will see you guys next week